Welcome back for another adventure with Gin and Ring as we drive the coast of New Zealand, better known as the Catlins. We left in Vicargo, headed directly towards our first destination, the Bluff. We're here, babe. We made it to the top lookout. <laughs> you eating your fruit, are you? Mm -hmm. So we're up the top of Montanui Lookout. Oh, so special. Thanks. Righto. Well, there's Stuart Island. We were going to go on a um, ferry across to Stuart Island, but when we Google searched the beats, it was $99 per adult each way, and we were only going to go out for the day, so that was $400 just to get there and back. It's a pretty cool place to go check out. We're just budget travellers. So I've already seen bits. We did a special tour, which mm -hmm. also cost us a couple of bob. But not $400. You wouldn't see them anyway, because they're nocturnal. So it's pretty rare that you're going to see anything anyway. And for 400 bucks, I want to see a gay way. I want to eat one for 400 bucks. After soaking in some world-class New Zealand views and having a bite to eat, we headed off in the direction of Waipapapai Bay Point Lighthouse. Growing up on the coast, lighthouses have always been special to us and we love seeing them. So we've made it all the way to right down to Curio Bay, whatever, and they do coffee. So they do coffee, so that's and the most important thing. They also do a vegan pie. What is your flavours, Virginia? I have a vegan butter chicken. Vegan butter chicken. And I have a lamb mint kum kumara kumara kumara. Which, as Aussies would know it. A sweet potato. <laughs> Virginia want to bring to try it without the sauce, so I've half topped it. I'll have a bite of the no sauce part, and then I'll have a bite of the sauce part. And yes, I did wash my finger. <laughs> That's bigger than my head. Far out, man. I thought it was a baby sheep. How much does it weigh? Be a kilo and a half. Dude, how many were there? This was the larger. Yeah. But there was about eight or nine of them. Wow. 
You could feed a village. <laughs> what have you named him? Muzza. <laughs> Muzza the mushroom. Muzza the mushroom. I right. think we should take Muzza for a road trip. Welcome to New Zealand. My name's Muzza and I'm a New Zealand mushroom. Oh, so, smells mushroomy. Put him next to your head for a second. You're not ever going to see a mushroom bigger than this <laughs> again. That's right. I'm the biggest bloody mushroom you've ever seen or you're ever going to see, pal. <laughs> It's a big mushroom, man. Look at it. Oh, it's probably bloody toxic. <laughs> Flip him on the side so we can see, like... You want to see the other side of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. See? Mushroom. It's a real life mushroom. It's not fake. Muzza. Smells like feet. We have just come across a once-in-a-lifetime mushroom. I spotted it in a sheep paddock. Look at the bloody Fish. size of this thing. I don't know what they're feeding the sheep in there, man. My name's Muzza. Oh, my God. It smells so strong. Yeah, it smells so strong. Muzza stinks. You guys, we had to show you this Woo! because once-in-a-lifetime... Once You'll never ever see anything this big when it comes to mushrooms again. Oh, it's part of the family. It's part of the family. Muzza, what do you think? Yeah, don't leave me here, guys. Take me with you on your sick adventures. As Muzz. You take the bungee jumping, Muzza. No way! Put me back in the paddock. Where are we off to next on our road trip, guys? We're going up the White House, Muzza. What do you think? Wow, that feels like a great idea. Here we go. We returned Muzza back to the wild where he had a family with little muzzlets that depended on him and made our way to Nugget Point Lighthouse. There's ocean wildlife all along the coast so be careful on the roads because sometimes you might find them right in the middle of it. Okay, so there's a seal on the road. What are you doing, bro? We would never have imagined that we would have been stopped in the middle of the road because of a seal? After making sure the guardrail was friendly, he slowly made his way down to the ocean. And I'm telling you, he crashed straight into that rock. Today has been the most randomly awesome day of this trip. It has, by far. Been the biggest mushroom in the world. The biggest. We saw. <laughs> I wish we actually had weighed it and like taken measurements and sent it to, what's that thing called? Guinness World Records? Yeah. We would have won. I feel like we've really showcased some of what New Zealand has to offer. For sure. Down the south. So if you want to see a bit more of what's to come, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the subscribe. Share Put with your, your mates. the subscribe button like I do seal poo. What a wicked and unexpected trip around the Catlins. Join us next time as we discover what else New Zealand has to offer.
We'll see you next time. Hooroo. Thanks for watching, guys.